Me no drink coffee tea, mango time. Care how nice it may be, mango time. At the height of the mango crop, when the fruit them a ripe and drop, wash your pot, turn them down, mango time. Morning from Jamaica, Failington here again. I know it's a long time I don't communicate with you, but so it go. been doing a few things here and there. Uh, well, I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, but that's a Jamaican folk song. I thought I'd do two or three Jamaican folk songs for you this morning. And that, you know, folk songs tell stories. Yes, that's what they do. And, um, well, we know, those of us who live in countries where there are mangoes growing on trees, that especially children, enough time they're not eating a dinner, them go out, go pick mango and fool them belly, you know what I mean? Mango becomes the meal, and then we have so many different kinds of mangoes. Where I come from in the hills of Clarendon, we used to have common mango, and, and you know, we have some unusual ones like turpentine, but when you come into the city, people speak about Bombay, the table mango, julie mango, East Indian mango, and many more. But this um, little post is not really about mango, it's about folk songs, and the fact that they tell a story. Um... How about me coffee, me coffee, me coffee, me coffee, me bowl of boiling coffee in the morning. I cares for none of these, the only thing for me is me bowl of boiling coffee in the morning. Some people like the chocolate, some people like the tea, some drink a lemon... And it goes on and it tells a story that some people drink lemonade and so on, but this person does want coffee. You know, in Jamaica we say coffee, but coffee. And of course, the most well-known coffee in the world as far as, as I am concerned is the Blue Mountain coffee that comes from Jamaica. Very expensive when you're overseas or even in Jamaica. But, uh, you know, we have the Blue Mountain as the highest point in Jamaica. When you get a chance, go on a map and look at uh, the Blue Mountain Peak. And many people hike to the Blue Mountain Peak and uh, you're able to see right across the island, so to speak. So that one is about um, the, the people who have to have a hot beverage in the morning and their preference is coffee. Um, well, I don't really drink coffee, although I used to have to prepare coffee, you know. Mm -hmm. A little child in the country, we had coffee. Uh, coffee trees and I had to reap the coffee and I had to put the coffee out on the barbecue that's an area on which you put things to dry and then we have to beat the coffee um, and we used to take the coffee up to the square where the, it would be sold hmm. and then I have a favorite folk so I don't have favorites of anything really but one of them that I always sing because I like so many things depending on my mood and depending on the occasion but this one tell me if you know it and um, if you know it, then wherever you are, sing along with it. Or maybe you want to teach your children this one. And if you never heard it before, then Google it. It will come up somewhere. The Jamaican, with an N, Jamaican folk singers. I learned it when I was with the group. I spent a year with them. But the value of that year was perhaps about 10. All right. Let's see. Yellow Yam. I wonder if you know it. You know it? Yellow Yam. When you roast the yellow yam and you slice it in a two, how nice it will be with the aki and the saltfish and the sweet flour dumpling sticking me ribs with the coconut oil. Oh, what a glorious day when you roast the yellow yam. If you know it, sing with me now. When you roast the yellow yam and you slice it in a two, how nice it will be with the aki and the saltfish and the sweet flour dumpling sticking my ribs with the coconut oil oh what a glorious day when you roast the yellow yam that was my dog coming in with the tenor I told him I didn't want any tenor in this song, you know, but he might have come in with the tenor. So yellow yam, man. Yes, when I get a piece of yellow yam and you roast it and you fix up some saltfish with it. Yeah, and we have a whole different kind of yam, you know. We have white yam, 
We have Yellow Yam, we have St. Vincent, we have Renta, some people call it Barbie. In the hills of Clarendon, we have one named Ta, we have Yampi, we have Yam Galore. You can make Yam salad, you can boil the Yam, you can bake the Yam, you can, oh man. So I just thought I'd share a little bit of our folk songs, and yeah, but while well, I'm doing that, you know, I'm very aware and very alert, and I'm seeing that those cases are rising in America. Mm -hmm. I know you want to come home, come drink your chocolate tea and eat a piece of roast yam and get some mango. But I beg you, if you are Jamaican or if you are anywhere in the world is your home and you're going back there, please observe the protocols, the rules and regulations and directions about how you ought to operate. Because uh, most countries are telling you that you have to when you get to your home country, you have to stay at your home for 14 days, even if you're asymptomatic or even if you t stay in your home for 14 days so that you can go in quarantine because this thing can pop up. You can think that you have no symptoms, but it's there. So I'm asking you, please be kind to yourself and be kind to others. People are coming into Jamaica and I suspect it's happening in other countries and they are going to parties and they are coming in for funerals. Yes, we know that that's sad and sometimes people have had to wait three, four, five months or more, but you can't just come in and go on to party and go on to bar and go and visit friend and go on a funeral and go on a wedding. No man, the cases are rising in America and we are watching it and very concerned. As a matter of fact, Bahamas, they have uh, said to America, no, 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 we're not uh, flying back Back and forth people are not coming in we're holding off our time being you know so we have to be very careful here our cases are rising too and the numbers are mainly from the imported cases those people who are coming in so I'm begging you take care of yourself when you wear a mask you are protecting yourself but you are protecting others you understand when you keep your distance we call it, I call it physical distancing. Some people say social distancing. You are protecting yourself and you are protecting others. When you pay particular attention to, high, to your hand hygiene, you are protecting yourself and you are protecting others. And you know, in Caribbean societies, we have extended families and we have senior citizens living with some of our families. So if you are young, under 30, and you're gone out and gone apart, and you're, not, you're not observing the physical distancing and you're, you're not wearing your mask and, you're, and you come home, you could bring it home to the senior citizens who you love so dearly. So look, you know, keep the six feet apart because I'd rather not see or hear that you're six feet down. How you doing? You good? So this is Faye Ellington. I'm drinking my tea and I'm thinking of my folk songs. I shared three with you, but there are so many others, you know? So have a wonderful day sharing the folk songs that you may know. Oh, by the way, somebody, you know, when I do these things, people ask, what could I recommend? Here's a book as we focus on the debt to countries that were colonized, where people were enslaved. People have wanted to know, how can I further inform myself? This is a good book, very, very good book. You don't have to read it right through from beginning to end. You can read different chapters and be informed, but we need to be informed. Until and unless we are informed, we're going to be in big trouble. Uh, you know, if you don't know where you're coming from, you won't perhaps know how to negotiate where you are or where you need to go. So everything wrap up in a one, little history, little folk song, little um, begging you to take care with the, wherever you are with COVID-19 and protect yourself. So until next time, Faye Ellington saying walk good and tell them other one how to do.